It is estimated that the fires in Australia have burned at least 2,000 homes and with destruction cost estimated at $485 million thus far, insurance adjusters are struggling with where to start. That's right. So joining us now to shed some light on the topic is Tim Jarman from uh, Sydney. He's with Crawford & Company, the world's largest provider of insurance claims. Uh, thanks for being uh, with us tonight. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about where somebody begins when, when they want to file a claim and, and how the process works, how quickly they could get their money and maybe even begin to rebuild. Okay. Yeah, hi, guys. Um, yeah, the process starts with a lodgement uh, by the, the, the customer, the policyholder with the insurance company. Um, the insurance company then will do a triage process to try and understand the severity of the damage. Uh, and then depending on the severity will depend on what they they, they do with the claim thereafter. Often when claims are, uh, properties are a total loss, they'll outsource the claim to a loss adjuster such as uh, Crawford and Company. We will then um, arrange to, to contact the, the, the policyholder, the customer, um, and try and understand whether access is available to their property uh, and then arrange a site visit to um, visit the property. In, in arranging the contact with the customer, we'll also try and understand uh, obviously, the severity of the damage and whether any emergency payments are necessary to help them through the immediate aftermath of the fire. So more often than not, uh, when, when properties are a total loss, we will, make, we will recommend the insurance company make an immediate payment to assist the, the, the customer as far as possible, as they will need proper money for accommodation, for clothing, for, for essential items. Uh, so that, that normally happens prior to the site visit. Um, then would arrange to, to undertake a, a, an inspection of the property and start to assess the loss from there. Tim, these bush, bushfires are, are, are not unusual, but the scope, the magnitude of this year's fire has been uh, especially high, according to the people there. Is this going to affect uh, how quickly the insurance companies can keep up? Is this something unprecedented for you? The, the extent of the bushfires... Uh, are unprecedented and, and clearly they're, they're over vast areas of Australia. So logistically, uh, it's challenging to arrange for our adjusters to, to visit the properties, but we have 42 offices across the country. So um, we, we have people in close proximity to a lot of the fires. Uh, so from that perspective, we can arrange appointments. The, the, the tricky thing, Alex, is, is actually arranging access because so many roads uh, are closed, um, both due to fires and, and, and due to damage. Um, and look, the magnitude of the fires is, is unprecedented. Uh, but having said that, the volume of claims um, emanating from the fires in comparison to maybe a cyclone it is, is, is relatively small. Uh, but clearly the, the, the magnitude of the damage is, is significant when compared to other events. Well, Tim, Bearing in thanks. mind that most properties are total loss. Well, Tim, thank you so much for, for shedding some light on this. We appreciate your expertise. That's Tim Jarman joining us via phone from Sydney this evening.